Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. And so, what were we doing? Add item, that's right. So, what we're doing here is we're creating a function that we can call and send it, send an ID to add an in item to our inventory. So say we pick up an item off the ground or a dead body or something like that, we're going to just call this function and send the ID, item ID that we pick up. So what we're going to do is go and call it the integer ID. So we're going to give it a a um, variable of integer a called ID. So we can give it the ID. What we're going to do is just gonna I'm just going to copy this line because not Control X. Sorry, Control C. Um, and because we've done this like three times in the same document, I'll just go through it. So for int i equals zero, i is great less than inventory dot count. So it's going to keep going until we've gone through the whole number of inventories. So after each inventory item, um, after the last inventory item, I believe. So the, say if they've got five items, it's going to go to the sixth one, I believe. Now for this one, we're going to say if item item name what is it? if inventory i i if inventory Inventory I not one I keep doing I dot item name item name um no oh, I keep looking down there equals equals null equals equals null so if it's empty then we're going to and we're going to go and go if we're gonna create a full loop so I'll just do that one again and copy and paste into um, for int j because we already used i j less than database dot item dot count so it's going to count the items in the database this one so it's going to work one two um, then what we're going to do is add one to j close that off and then um, if inventory if the item if database dot item equals id if database dot item database item j dot item id so basically we're just checking if the id that we sent in is equal to one of the ones in the database and if it is we're going to choose that item. We're going to go inventory i, so whatever slot we're up to. In then in inventory i i equals database dot item. Um, um, and we're going to go id, I believe it was. So we'll just double check that one. Oh, j. Sorry, not id. J. But I think they're essentially the same thing. Um, so yeah, um, then we're going to go down to, so to here, and we're going to break it out of the outside one. So I think this is, if there is nothing, if, um, no, wait, is that right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what that does, 100%, but I think if there's nothing in there, it just continues through. But, yes, so... Last thing we need to do is create a boolean. So it's going to return a boolean, and we're going to see if that inventory contains that item. So this is good for quest things. So you're going to ask as soon as they trigger an, an a, um, alert, say if they walk into a special area, we want to see if the inventory contains a special item that we need. Or for that's just for example. So we're going to create. So this is the first time I believe we've done return with something else. We're going to go return bool and it's just the same as every other function and we're going to call it inventory contains and we're going to give it an item id so int id and we're going to close that one off so then here what we're going to do is go if bool result equals false bool res result equals false so if we don't have that item I believe it is mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's, it's gonna return it. 
Pep. I'm not sure what it does here, we'll just copy this one again because we've done lots of those, so I, I, lesson, inventory account, same one as above just gonna go through the item, in inventory items, and we're just gonna make we're gonna make result equal to inventory i, item id and equals, equals id, so we're gonna make we're gonna make the result, we're gonna keep going through this until the item id of the inventory equals id, and then we're gonna make the result equal to it, if it doesn't then it's gonna break um, if result break, no, if you get it break, if it doesn't it's gonna keep going but then I suppose it'll just break itself out, I think I'm not 100% sure um, and then we're just gonna go down from here and return and result so that's just, that's easy, pretty well it, it, it's a bit hard but pretty easy coding to do so if you ever need to been a bit fast just let me know just things I can fix up that's just great so that's that one for now um, well let's just go back into here and see if we've got any er errors um, so no errors this is just the only reason we got this is because I've got these test scripts so I'll delete them in a second but what you want to do is create a C sharp script again and call this an item database and no spaces and both capitals and that's why that created another one. we already got one of these ones so then what we're going to do is just this one's pretty easy so I'm not sure if we need it again but we'll just use it using system.collections.generic and then we're going to create a public list public list of type item and make it equal make call item and it's equal to new list item and that's just the same as before just calling it item and then on start I think that's all yeah and in start basically now this is done that's done that's it so what you need to do is just in start if you want to add a new item go item dot add and then create your item and now it it should show you what items you need so what do we need we need a um I think it's Oh yeah, when you go when you're creating one, a new item, and then inside that one, and this one, what we're gonna do is name first, I believe it is. So let's say, um, I don't know crowbar. No, no, let's not go crowbar. Let's go um, M9 because we already got that, don't we? Yes. So wait, so string name is M9, not 89. Integer. Um, um, the ID will be zero because that's our first item, and then description will be um, a pistol to shoot zombies. Now you can change this whenever you want. You can come back and edit it, and that's a good thing about it. Um, item type, where this one's going to be a type of item dot item type. Okay, so item dot item type dot um, weapon and that's that one and, and max ammo it will be 9 I think it is in the max clip let's just give it 4 max clip for now so that's that's that close it off and that's one item for you and that should all be working let's just close all these test ones and I'll delete them and no errors scripts test and we'll just delete test delete and now we've got no errors, so let's just, well, we do have an error. Um, oh, that's right, we got more things, don't we? What's wrong with it? Item.add. What's wrong? Item does not contain any constructor that takes six arguments. Let's go back to your wall. Alright, we got these three ones. Damage, protection, item health. Oh, right, yeah, okay, because I think it might have been accessing that one. Yep, damage. So the damage of this weapon, it's not going to have a, a physical damage itself, we're just going to use it for ammo and, 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 and um, melee weapons. So zero, it's going to have zero protection and it's going to have zero health. So that's just the stuff that's going to add on to you. And that should all fix itself. Perfect now all we need to quickly do is drag the inventory script onto the inventory 
and drag the item database script onto the item database and then we're just going to start play and look at that we've got one item in our thing with all our things and our inventory we've got nothing in there at the moment now I'll just quickly show you um, adding an inventory item like I did up here so we're going to do start and go add item and we're going to give it the one or zero item ID of zero so let's try that let's click play and we got an error start 20 this one item space start to base Oh, that's right, find game object with tag. So what I did is you need a tag, so create a tag called item space database. You should know how to do that. But add tag, create one item space database. And so go back to this and go tag item database, save that, click play, and that should be all fine. Now if we go over to inventory, oh sorry, um, we still don't have one. Maybe type zero, one. I have no idea why that's not working. Why is it not working? Um, zero. It's not setting those variables, is it? Oh no, that's right. Okay, we did not give slots x or slots y a thing, a size. Did I do that in the thing? I'm not sure. Let's try slots x equals five and slots y equals 4 I'm not sure whether I did that if, or whether I need to do that oh we got oh yep okay that, that item created awesome perfect when we've got all those items so if we press i there's our inventory and there's, uh, there's the thing okay we fixed that one so that's that and alright so I think I need to end it now couldn't really go over it quickly and discuss it um, I might do that in the next episode um, gotta add onto it so removing clicking moving around crafting things like that but that's all I have for today so um, thank you for watching any questions or anything um, just e shoot me an email whatever message that's okay um, I should be able to get to you um, sorry about the wait again and make sure you check out my f the new Facebook page and Twitter. Um, thank you. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.